everyone this is Jay Kalpana here so in this video we are going to see a problem from solid hemisphere so let's get started given problem the volume of a solid hemisphere is 1152 pi cubic centimeter find its curved surface area so we are given The volume of a solid hemisphere is 1152 pi cubic centimeter. So we are given the vol volume of a solid hemisphere. So this is a solid hemisphere. Okay, so we are given volume of the solid hemisphere is. 1152 pi cubic centimeter or centimeter cube. So here we have to find its curved surface area. So we have to find its curved surface area. Since we know that the curved surface area of this is our formula, right? Curved surface area of a solid hemisphere is 2 pi r square square units. Okay. In order to find the curved surface area of the given solid hemisphere, we need to know the value of r, that is the radius. So, how we can find the value of r using the given condition that the volume of a solid hemisphere is 1152 pi centimeter cube. Okay. Solution. Given the volume of solid hemisphere is 1152 pi cubic centimeter that is v equals to 1152 pi centimeter cube since we know that or uh, we have i can say we have the volume of solid hemisphere is 1 not 1 by 2. 2 by 3 pi r cube cubic units. So already we have the formula of solid hemisphere is 2 by 3 pi r cube. So we can write it as V equals to V in the sense volume 2 by 3 pi r cube to cubic units right so from the question we have v equals to this and from formula we have v equals to this i think we can equate these two since v equals to 1152 pi centimeter cube and also v equals to so we can equate these two right so v equals to equals to Right? Since, or uh, we can say this is equals to V and also V equals to this. So, we could write it as 1, 1, pi, 2, pi centimeter cube equals to 2 by 3 pi R cube units. That is cubic units. Okay? Or you can write directly, we have 2 by 3 pi r cube equals to 1152 pi centimeter cube. Okay. See here, we have not written any units blindly. Okay. 
while substituting the value of r we'll get the units obviously okay so now i need to write units blindly so we'll leave it like this see from the question we are having v equals to okay but already from the formula we have v equals to 2 by 3 pi r cube so replace v by 2 by 3 pi r cube okay so using this condition we'll find the value of r so you could write it as R cube equals to 1152 pi centimeter cube by 2 by 3 into pi. Okay. So cancel pi and pi. Take this 3 to the numerator. You'll get 1152 into 3 into centimeter cube by 2. 2 ones are. 2 5s are 10, 1 by 2 7s are 14, 2 6 are 12. So this equals to 576 to 3 into centimeter cube. This is 18, 3 7s are 21, 21 plus 1, 22. 3 5 is a 15, 15 plus 2 is 17. So this equals to 1728 centimeter cube. Since we need to find the value of R, so what we are going to do is we are going to find the prime factor and composite factors, prime factors and composite factors of 1728, that is 1728 using division method okay so let's take three 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 six are eighteen so three fives are fifteen right two two you're having two two three sevens are twenty one one eight three six are eighteen you can take three table again three ones are three three nines are twenty seven 3 2s are 6, take 3 table, 3 6 are 18, 3 4s are 12, now take 4th table, 4, 4 6 is 4 16, 64, 4, 4s are 16, right? So 3, 3, 3, we can write it as 3 cube, we are having 3, 3 times, right? So you could write it as 3 cube into 4, 1, 2, 3, into 4 cube, centimeter cube. So you could write it as 3 into 4 into centimeter whole cube. So this equals to 3, 4 are 12 centimeter whole cube. Okay. So you are having R cube equals to 12 centimeter whole cube. So you could write it as R equals to cube root of 12 centimeter whole cube. So this equals to 12 centimeter whole cube power 1 by 3. So, A power M whole power 1 by N equals to A power M into 1 by N. You could write it as A power M by N. Okay. So, you could write it as 3 by 3, which is 1. So, this equals to 2, sorry, 12 centimeter. Or else you can write directly, this is R cube, consider it as R. 
whole cube see here you are having same powers right so obviously r will be 12 centimeter you can directly write r equals to 12 centimeter or else you can do this process so therefore r equals to 12 centimeter so we are having the radius r equals to 12 centimeters so now we are having the value of radians so it will be easy to find the curved surface area of the given solid hemisphere okay curved surface area of a solid hemisphere is given by 2 pi r square square units okay so this is the formula so now we are going to find csa that is curved surface area curved surface area equals to 2 pi r square square units so this is equals to 2 into Take pi, take pi as it is, pi, and you're having r equals to 12 centimeter whole square. See, I'm not going to write the units blindly. See, we are going to solve it, and in the um, calculation itself, you'll get the units, okay? No need to write blindly. 2 into pi into 12 centimeter into 12 centimeter since you are having 12 centimeter square so you would write it as 12 centimeter into 12 centimeter right so this is equals to 2 into 11 into 12 into 12 is 2 2 are 4 2 1s are 2 1 2s are 2 1 1s are 1 4 4 1 1 144 centimeter into centimeter is centimeter square One forty four into two will be two four zero eight, two four zero eight, two one zero two, two hundred and eighty eight into pi into centimeter square. So, as I said before, or as I said earlier, see, we got the units from the calculation. Okay, no need to write blindly. So we are asked to find the curved surface area. So this is a required answer. Therefore, the curved surface area is 288 pi centimeter square. Or you can include the curved surface area of the given solid hemisphere. Okay. So this completes the problem. So we have seen a problem in this video. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then. Bye bye.